1991. That was the year my parents moved into our house. It was quite small at first, but they built an entire new section, including a crawl space. The family that lived here before us had three sons, Tommy, Danny, and Gary. They had these shelves for all of them in the basement, all labelled with permanent marker. I recently took pictures, which you can see below, of the three shelves. I started searching in their boxes to see if I could find anything. My stepbrother and I were searching through all of them for two hours, but all we found were three boxes of bullets. There was one last box we hadn't checked. Don't ask why we were doing this, because I don't have a clue either. We were bored out of our minds, and then my stepbrother said, Hey, let's go into the basement. And so we went down into the basement and started looking through boxes and such. Tommy's box was the one we hadn't checked. I reached my arms up so I could get a hold of it and brought it down. We looked through for a couple of seconds and found a doll. 2007. I was eight. My sister and I found the doll in the basement. It was a little porcelain doll, pale, very pale. It had blue eyes, but the pupils were white. It didn't have a dress, or feet for that matter. Its feet were broken off, and it really didn't look right. Its hair was blonde, and it felt very real, actually. We had a neighbor. He was my friend, my sister's friend as well. We all would chase each other with the doll. It was just an innocent little game we would play sometimes. We called the doll Scary Lady. My mother would always bring it back down to the basement because she didn't want some dusty, old porcelain doll sitting around. Now, in this basement, there were two sections. The crawl space, which was right under the living room, and the actual basement that has been there for 50 years. And I mean basement. Not your typical finished basement that has a couch and all of that. This is the real deal, with all the brick walls surrounding loads of crap in the middle, with a stone cold floor of cement. 2014 I was brushing my teeth and I went over to the hallway, upstairs, and saw on top of a tall bureau, the doll. I laughed quietly to myself as it brought back lots of memory from my early childhood years. I picked it up and put it on my bed. It was on my computer for a while, until I got curious and a little afraid. There was something off with the fact that it was up here, upstairs, not in the basement. I remembered that my mother would always put the doll back in the basement because she didn't want some dusty old porcelain doll laying around the house. Why was it up here? I asked my mom, and she replied, and she replied, saying that she doesn't know what doll I'm talking about. You mean you don't remember? I asked. No, although there was that one doll you guys would always leave on the floor in the hallway, she replied. Okay, so why did you bring it back up? I asked. No, I haven't seen the doll in years, she said. About one week later, I was pouring myself a glass of water, but the sink wasn't really working great. When I tried to twist the handle, it started spitting water out slowly, then fast, in that pattern. I figured it had to do with our filter, since it's old as this house. So I went down to the basement, and the filter was the issue. I just had to twist something a little bit because it was loose, therefore causing that weird spitting pattern. I thought, while I'm down here, I could just kind of look around for a minute, mainly because I haven't been down here in a while. I looked into the crawl space. It looks like something out of a horror movie, my mother would sometimes say. And for just a second, just one second, I imagined the doll, all the way in the middle of the crawl space. I gasped at the thought. Seriously, I could see it in my mind. It would look just perfect, 
like it lived there. The thought of it staring down at me from that spot is just terrifying. I really wanted to see this. I always loved scary things, and this would be a great picture to have. So I went upstairs, grabbed the doll, and came down to the basement. I was going to go in the crawl space right there, but something stopped me. Something was telling me this was a bad idea. Like my mother would sometimes say about it, something out of a horror movie. That was very true. It did in fact look like it was in a horror film. A good horror film. A really good horror film. So I stood up on a stool and crawled into the crawl space. I started going faster as I really did not want to be in there. I put the doll in its place and went back to the old section of the basement. I took a second to catch my breath and looked back. Ah, oh, Jesus, I said. This was probably the most frightening thing I'd ever seen. The face of the doll staring down all the way to the old section was just horrifying. I took my phone out of my pocket and snapped a picture of it. I never went back in the crawl space. No, I don't want to see it, and I don't want it to see me. A couple days later, there is a difference between scary and creepy. In some cases, this was a creepy situation, but I find that this is more scary than creepy. There are too many dolls that have the ability to move such as Robert the doll, who is also dangerous, mainly because they have something to do with spirits. This doll that I have in my basement right now, in that very spot of the crawl space, could be like those dolls, but it also might not be. I actually don't know. Well, what I do know is that this has been causing me a lack of sleep. All I can think of is the doll, just sitting there, staring down the crawl space. It belongs in there. Sometimes when my sister and I are watching a movie on the TV in our living room, I realize that the doll is right under us. Sometimes when I come back from school and I want to play the piano in the living room, I remember the doll is right under me. Sometimes when I go out the door in the living room, I remember the doll is right under me. It's very hard to get out of my head. It might be in the basement and not in the house, and it might not be haunted, but it's still the only thing I think about night and day. At some point, I'm going to go down there and throw the doll in the trash. It serves no purpose being here anymore. It's not even nostalgic to look at, because the only memory it'll make me think of is the one I'm living in. I want to show this to someone. My stepbrother, he'll be here in an hour. I can tell him about this. When he arrived. Hey, come here, I said. Oh hey, what's up? He replied. I need to show you something. Come with me. We walked down the stairs to the basement. I twisted the light bulb and walked over to the opening of the crawl space. I was walking backwards though, looking at him, telling him all about how I had found the doll on that bureau and how the sink wasn't working, so I went down to the basement. I turned around. Where is it? I said. Where's what? He replied. The doll! I yelled back at him. He was confused why I was mad. I wasn't. I was afraid. I know I hadn't told anyone but my mother about this doll, especially where I had put it, which was all the way down in the 30 foot long crawl space, which no one taller than 5 feet could crawl into. I started breathing a little faster, then a little faster. Of course, the question was not forgotten. I still ask myself this. Did it move? <laughs>